Okay, talking about the squeeze theorem. And the squeeze theorem for limits says that uh, if you have a function g of x, and it's bounded on top by h of x, on bottom by f of x, and the limit as x approaches a of f of x and h of x equal the same limit, then the limit as x approaches a of g of x also equals the same limit. Um, that might look confusing, but all it really means is um, if you bound a function by the same limit on both sides, it has to be that limit as well. Let me give you uh, an example. So let's say you wanted to find the limit as x approaches zero of x of sine of one over x. Um, so that's not easy to do by itself, but let's start out with sine of one over x. Now, at most, doesn't matter what I plug in, the biggest sign can be is one, and the smallest sign can be is negative one. And now if I multiply this entire inequality by x, I'd get minus x is less than or equal to x sine of one over x is less than or equal to x. And now let me take the limit as x goes to zero of this entire inequality. So the limit as x goes to zero of negative x is zero. The limit as x goes to zero of x is zero, which means that the limit as x approaches zero of x sine of one over x, it's bigger than zero and less than zero, that means it has to equal zero.